Lesson 63, Charting Different Orders of Magnitude. In this lesson, we'll take a look at two different problems. One, where we have two series, one large and one small, and we'll be able to solve this using a secondary axis. Another problem is where we have a series that changes from small to massive, and then we're going to use a log scale to solve that problem. Alright, so here we want to create a chart that shows both revenue and profit percent. Select the data and Alt F1 to create the chart. And the legend says we're seeing revenue and profit, but clearly we're not seeing any profit. Well, that's because the profit numbers are so small, we can't make them out. What we'll do, we'll go to the Layout tab and from the drop-down, choose the Profit area. Now, I want to format that selection. So I'll press either Control 1 or the Format Selection icon. And here I'm going to move that series to the secondary axis. Moving this series to the secondary axis allows us to see on the left hand side numbers in thousands, that's the blue columns, and on the right hand side, gross profit percent, that's the red. But you see that we have an interesting problem in that when we have both series plotted as column charts, on different axes, they appear directly on top of each other. And so I can't see the blue columns because they're being hidden by the red columns. So while series profit is still selected, I want to go back to the design tab and change the chart type for just that series, maybe to a line with points. Ah, there we go. Revenue, blue columns, I can see all of the columns, and profit is now the red line, and I can see the line. You'll notice that because my profit tends to be in a narrow area, that the scale didn't go from 0 to 43%. I can change that. Right click on the scale, choose Format Axis, and I can set the minimum to a fixed value of 0. Click Close. And now I make sure that the scale runs from 0 to 45. It's your call whether you want to leave that in the original way or change it back the other way. Okay, so in this situation, we had two different series of completely different orders of magnitude, and we wanted to see them both on the same chart. In the next example, we have series that run from some products we sell maybe 100 a month, and some products we sell 20 to 30,000 a month. Well, this is a completely different problem. When we try and create this chart, let me insert a chart and choose a line chart. I can see the detail of the large items. So here was the forecast and the actual was much higher. But down here, I really can't make out any of the detail at all. A great solution for this is to format the axis. Right click, Format Axis, and say that we want to show it in a logarithmic scale. Click Close. In a logarithmic scale, the distance from 1 to 10 is the same as the distance from 1,000 to 10,000, or 10,000 to 100,000. The advantage here is that it allows us to see details, even in the small numbers, the 100 to 200 numbers, as well as in the large numbers, the 30,000 numbers. This is a great way on a chart to be able to see details of both the small models and the large models. Now, a couple of rules with logarithmic charts is we're not allowed to have any values that are less than 1. So if you had any models that sold 0 or actually had a negative balance, there were returns, you're not allowed to use this chart in those situations. But provided all of your data is positive, a log scale is a great solution to being able to see when a series goes from small to massive on the same chart. Well, I hope you found that helpful and thanks for watching. Looking to advance your career by acquiring new skills? Tired of expensive off-site training programs? Wish you could learn from the best instructors in the industry? Look no further than Live Lessons, self-paced personal video instruction by the world's leading technology publishers. Each Live Lesson comes with a DVD featuring three to four hours of instructor-led classroom training, sample program code that allows you to work along with your personal instructor, and an example-rich study guide. 
Live lessons allow you to watch the entire course from start to finish or navigate directly to any of the individual lessons. You'll literally watch over the shoulder of your instructor as he shows you how to build state-of-the-art applications. Live lessons, the power of the world's leading technology experts at your fingertips. To learn more, visit mylivelessons.com today.